Hi there. Welcome to another of my reviews of Ty Lopez's 67 Steps. We're up to step number 38. This one has the very uh, antisocial name of throwing idiots to the crocodiles. Construct a barrier against this type of person. So, beware the idiot. You know, uh, remember back, you probably don't remember because you're younger than me, but remember back in the 70s when we had these I'm with stupid t-shirts. You don't want to be with stupid. That's the gist of this. But I'll, I'll do the whole thing anyway. So, in uh, um, social st studies, there's a, a concept called bo bounded reality. And bounded reality is where you limit your choices to keep yourself sane, going crazy from the abundance of choice that we certainly have in this day and age. Um, you know, everything from restaurants, you don't, every time you want to go out, you don't say, okay, there's every restaurant in the world I could go to, which one am I going to go to? I mean, by necessity, you limit it to restaurants that are in your area, and then you limit it down and limit it down. But subconsciously, or con or you should be consciously doing the same kind of thing with your friends and even your family as far as their, your time commitment. Because really what this is about is who do you want as an ally and who do you want as a competitor? And for the most part, you can choose these things. I mean, that's a business thing. And unfortunately or fortunately, in the 67 steps, we talk a lot about business. So who do you want as an ally? Who do you want as a competitor? And life is a competition. So whether you believe in that or not, it doesn't matter because it is. You know, everything, all of life, not just human life, you know. Um, and healthy competition, you know, like I, my friend and I are trying to lose weight and who's going to lose the most weight and who's, you know, who's going to do the most exercise. That's still competition, this kind of thing. So you compete with other people. Um, you know, you compete with the forces of nature like weather or bacteria. And you compete with yourself, you know. Com so competition is important. You have to choose who your allies are. So one of the things that Ty likes to talk about is doing an, an inversion, you know. So instead of saying who who do you want to be around, who don't you want to be around, and guess what? That's certainly to a certain extent idiots. But let's go into it. Um, one of the things you don't want to do, and this is I'm this is kind of going off piece here. This wasn't necessarily in Ty's talk, but I've just finished reading this David and Goliath book by uh, Malcolm Gladwell, and you know, one of the things you don't want to do is actually put yourself in a situation of difficult competition because for most people that ends up being demoralizing. You know, uh, in the book, it's great. There's a great section about, you know, if you go to an Ivy League school with high, high competition, even if you're really good, you can be beaten down because, you th you know, you see that other people are better, you know, and, and um, Gladwell's thing is that maybe your second choice university is the best choice. So that's one of the things. Who don't you want to be around? You don't want to be around people who are just way above you, okay? And uh, in a sense, you want to compete with idiots. And luckily, idiots are not in short supply. So, you know, you, to do the this application to your Eulerian destiny that we talked about a long time ago, you know, match the big industry that you're interested in, you know, finance, uh, personal development, health and fitness, whatever it is, you know, niche down and niche down. And, you know, you want to do something that matches your skills, of course. And you, you want to look for the weaklings, you know, and, or look for the blue oceans. Um, and this talks not so much about blue oceans. This is about weaklings and idiots. Uh, so you do that, uh, so you make sure your competition is below you, make sure you have an advantage, like we talked about very recently in the uh, these uh, three uh, factors of production, you know, land, labor, and capital. So make sure you have an advantage in one of those or all of them, and then build a moat around your business, uh, you know, as uh, Charlie Munger likes to say, you know, by enhancing one of those three areas. But it all comes down to, you know, do something that you're good at, of course, you know, because that's the big hurdle. Uh, Ty in this episode talks about Mexico, you know, if Mexico tried to grow apples, it could do it with great input of technology and money, but why not just grow oranges? So there you go. 
So that's the business side of it. And on the personal side of it, um, you know, who don't you want to be around? Well, get rid of people who have distorted self-esteem. And that's not just people with low self-esteem, but it's also people who have a, a you know, an unnatural positive opinion about themselves. Nothing wrong with feeling good about yourself, but people who think that they're gorgeous when they're not gorgeous, people who think they're smart when they're not smart, people who think they're rich when they're not rich, those people who have a distorted sense of themselves are unstable. You know, they're erratic. Uh, and they will... Um, how can you say it? Well, you know, they will disappoint you or betray you over time. And you'll have to start over, and you shouldn't have started in the first place. So there's nothing wrong with people being tough on themselves. You know, it's, it's all about the degree. You know, don't take this to extreme. Oh, everybody has to be totally balanced. I mean, you have to be pretty much balanced. But, you know, so you want to avoid those people with a distorted self-esteem. Ty also mentions that violent people, excuse me, violent people often have a distorted sense about themselves, uh, thinking that they're better than they really are. And I, I wonder if that's true. That's interesting. So that's it. Throw the idiots to the crocodiles. Uh, build your, uh, you know, make sure your competitors are idiots or that you have a great advantage. This is a difficult one. I'm not, anyway, whatever. This one is what it is. I think there's some good nuggets in there. Uh, certainly about choosing your competition, choosing your allies. And again, it all comes down to surround yourself with the right people. So his three questions are, uh, what's an example socially uh, where you have allied yourself with unstable people. Um, how can you adjust your career? So, excuse me. How can you adjust your career so that you're competing to your advantage? You know, be Mexico growing oranges, not Mexico growing apples. And finally, what are your advantage advantages that you can widen the moat on? You know, what's your real strength? that you can ratchet up that advantage to make it difficult for other people to come in and take it, take your business or your, or your customers. So there you go, step number 38. We're on our way. We'll see you soon.